Hello artists! I'm going to be showing you how to make origami paper with a sheet of computer paper, some crayons, and a pair of scissors. Origami paper is a type of paper that is usually very thin and is colored on one side or and blank on the other and they are always cut into a square. Some origami papers come in special colors or patterns or maybe even have designs so that when you fold them the colors and shapes line up with what it's supposed to be. For example, the paper might have browns and blacks in the center and different colors that are symmetrical on the sides but when you fold it it might line up to be a butterfly and all the colors fall into the right spots. For this paper, what we're going to do is first we're going to color one side, then we're going to cut it into a square and I'm going to show you how to do that without using any rulers. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick the colors I want to add on this colored paper and I'm going to actually fast forward through that so we can move right along. Now that I have finished coloring my paper, I'm going to begin making it into a square. I did not finish coloring over on this side of the paper only because I knew that I would be cutting some of this off. So that's why this is white. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top corner on the left side of my paper and I'm going to bring it down and line it up so that that top edge lines up perfectly with my bottom edge. I'm pressing it down, sliding my fingers, and then just double checking to make sure that this bottom lines up nice and neat. I'm also checking to make sure my corner is neat and that the crease is really pressed down flat. Next, I'm going to turn my paper and I am going to cut right along this side of the paper trying to stay as neat as I can. Using my scissors, I'm going to cut nice and slowly making sure not to cut this top right here. Now that I have a triangle, I just like to check my points to make sure they're all even and there's no paper sticking out from the side. I will open it back up and here is my origami paper. It is cut into a square. It is colored on one side and blank on the other. Now you can begin watching a new video to follow along to create something new. Have a great time. Welcome back boys and girls. Today we're going to be taking a piece of origami paper that we made and turning it into a turkey. If you do not know how to get origami paper, make sure to watch my tutorial on how to turn computer paper into a piece of origami paper by coloring one side and folding it and cutting it to make sure it is square. To begin, we are going to start with the color side up and we are going to bring the bottom of our square up to line up with the top. I'm trying to line up my edges. Making sure that they are nice and even and I'm pressing firmly on the edge. 
Next, I'm going to take this top first piece and bend it down, line it up on the bottom, and then again, pressing. Notice I didn't just press down on the paper and squash it. I held down on the bottom where I wanted to stay perfect and I slid my finger up to the fold and then slid side to side. Now I'm going to take this same little flap that I just folded and I'm going to bring that down and line it up on the bottom. Slide up and across. Sometimes I like to use my nail to press down to make it a little bit flatter as well. Now I'm going to take this bottom and open it back up. You should see one, two, three, four evenly folded rectangles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first fold that is sticking up towards me and I'm going to fold it back down like this. Just to show you what it looks like, I just folded it back up and down. Now, I'm going to take this paper, I'm going to fold it back up so that it lines up at the bottom, lay it flat, and where this fold line was from before, I'm going to fold it down. What I basically just did is I reversed a couple of the folds that we already made to make what is called an accordion fold. An accordion fold is the zigzag, kind of like the musical instrument that you open and close this way. Now that I have my accordion fold at the bottom, I'm going to take it and flip it over. My accordion fold is now at the top of the paper. Okay. Our next move is to take this bottom edge here and bring it up towards the center here. And you're going to see what happens over here in this corner. I'm going to take it by taking this little corner down here and I'm going to bring it towards the center. And I'm going to know where their center is because do you see how over here in the corner the paper is starting to kind of lift up. It's only going to let you go a certain amount. Once you see that you can make a nice neat corner over here, you know you found the center. Make sure you press. And yeah, I'm using my nail. Pressing down like that. We're now going to do the same thing with this bottom corner. We're going to take this bottom side and line it up along here and bring the corner to match here. I'm making sure not to overlap, but to line it up right next to the other triangle. So, you should have one big upside down triangle with two little triangles sticking out the side. Next what we're going to do is we are going to take this edge here and turn it and line it up along this side, a lot like a paper airplane. Watch what I do. I'm going to grab hold of this side 
and I'm going to turn it and bring it up and line it up on that center fold that we've made before. Pressing down, you're going to notice that it's going to get a little harder to do because of the fact that we're making many folds and the paper is getting smaller. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side by bringing this and lining it up here. Make sure that you're not covering the fold that we just did and you're lining it up right next to it. Pressing down. This looks a lot like our kite fold because of the shape. Do you see how it kind of looks like a kite? Awesome. Now we're going to get ready to move to our next step. For our next step, we're going to take our kite and we're going to fold it in half. But we want to be careful not to fold these pieces in half. Watch what happens. I'm going to hold it in my hand and slowly fold it, but I'm going to push this piece back so that when it's folded, these pieces stick up straight, but the rest of it is folded into a triangle. pressing down on all of my folds, even the ones from before, just to keep it nice and crisp so that it's easier to fold. Okay. Lining it up with the longest point going towards the right, I'm going to take this triangle and I'm going to fold it up. You're going to notice that there's a piece of paper folded right here. I basically just bent this up and lined it up next to that. Just to give you an idea if you don't see it already, this is the start of the tail of our turkey, this is its body, and this is the start of its neck. From here, I'm going to pick it up, unfold fold this a little bit and you're going to see a folded line. I'm going to open it up a little bit where that folded line is and I'm basically pushing and bending this backwards. I'm pushing this up and I'm going to fold it so that way when I fold it again this part folds upwards. I'm squeezing it here and squeezing it here. I'm going to just unfold it so you see it. Here are the folds that we made. I'm pushing this up and folding it down and I'm working the fold so that it folds this way. That might have been a little tricky, but it's okay. Just try your best and do the best you can. Don't forget, you can always stop the video and go back or ask an adult at home who might be able to help. Now, we have the neck, but we want to turn this part into the rest of its face. So I'm going to turn and fold it down so it looks like it's looking straight ahead. I'm going to fold. 
I'm going to lift it back up and we're going to do the same type of fold that we just did. I lifted it up. I'm going to open it a little bit so that you could see. And now I'm going to turn it and I'm going to force this paper down this way and fold it back. I'll do that again. I was here. I created the folds right here. I'm holding it and I'm basically pulling this down so it flips and goes this way. Now we have the tail, the body, the neck, and the head. If you wanted to, you could take the very tip of its beak and fold it down so it shows that little gizzard thing that hangs down by its face. You could color it red later if you wanted to, or you could just leave it as is. You could fold it here and leave it there, or if you wanted to try and repeat the same move we've been doing, you could flip it up, open it, and bend it in and fold it back down, but that's not necessary. Just folding it over is more than enough. From here, we're going to just do the finishing touches on the tail. I like to open it, let it sit, and to fluff, I like to bend out the pieces that we made for the tail, kind of just bending one this way, one this way, and then just opening up the folds, the accordion fold or the fan fold that we made when we started. Opening it up. You can arrange this however you want. But here is my little turkey. I hope you enjoyed this little origami tutorial. You can find so many more on YouTube if you're interested, which is where I found this one. And I hope that you have something to show me soon because I thought it was a fun little activity that wasn't too hard, but definitely was challenging enough to teach us something new. Have a great day and a happy Thanksgiving. Bye now.